Hi everyone, this is Donnie Lowy from CloseThatExplosion.com. Hope you're doing well today. I have a wholesale business in New York that specializes in brand name and designer clothing, including dresses. Today I'd like to give you an overview of the wholesale fashion dress business. Fashion dresses are different than brand name and designer dresses in the sense that the focus is on the style not on the brand or the designer label so you could see a lot of different fashion dresses out there if you go to any wholesale district such as the New York fashion district you go to the LA fashion district the Miami fashion district you go to the fashion district in Dubai in the UK wherever you go you're gonna see a lot of sellers of fashion clothing fashion clothing doesn't have a label as I mentioned that's recognizable but it has a design that is looking to capture the attention of the customers. Many times they will have a, a brand, so to speak, a brand name, but I would say more like a designer label by an up-and-coming designer, but that designer is not well known yet. But usually the goal is just to sell clothing based on its appearance, based on its quality, and they'll put a generic name on it, or they'll put a very nice sounding, fashionable label on it, but it's not a label that there's any large marketing behind. It's not a label that's well known. It's not going to be a label that is owned by a company that's spending millions of dollars promoting it. Okay, so whenever you buy fashion clothing, you yourself, when you sell it to your customers, whether you're a wholesaler selling to retailers or whether you're a retailer selling it to the end user, to the consumer who's going to wear that dress, you're going to have to have dresses that are going to be appealing based on the quality and based on the style. Right? Many times I'll see customers buy brand name dresses because they love the brand even if the style isn't ideal or it's not the color that they had in mind but if it's a brand that they love they'll buy the clothing. With fashion dresses it's the opposite. Remember no one is going to buy that dress because of the name. They're only going to buy it if they love the color, they like the design, they like the style right there's something unique about it maybe it's similar to a brand name dress or designer dress that's very expensive and they can't afford that that designer dress so they'll buy a fashion dress that's similar to it if that's the case make sure you're not selling dresses that are copies or replicas of the designer brand name dress you don't have any issues with copyright infringement you want to make sure you're always selling authentic and authorized merchandise now when you do buy fashion dresses make sure that you're buying fashion dresses that are appropriate for the market that you're selling to you want to make sure that if there's any religious or cultural restrictions that the fashion dresses adhere to those restrictions and to those norms and if you are going to be selling fashion dresses make sure that they are exciting make sure that they are attractive enough for the market that you're selling to remember you are going to still compete with the brand name and designer dresses so you're going to have to have dresses that are attractive enough and that are sellable meaning that your customers are going to want those dresses and they're going to love the style so much they're going to love the color so much maybe it's just because the dress is so affordable but there's going to have to be a very good compelling reason why they're going to want to buy that fashion dress versus the brand name and designer dresses that are available in the marketplace. Perhaps the brand name and designer dress retails for $200 and you're going to be able to retail that fashion dress for $20 or $30. Or if you're selling them on a wholesale basis, so the boutiques might be able to buy a brand name high-end designer dress for $80 and you might be able to wholesale your fashion dresses which are just as high end where the quality is just as good and they're just as attractive but they don't have that brand name or designer label you might be able to wholesale those dresses for only 10 or 15 dollars each so you can explain to the boutique that they're going to have a very high end dress where they're going to be able to sell it at a good markup and they're going to be able to enjoy that markup and the net profit might be higher than on the brand name and designer dress which they're going to sell and whenever you're selling those fashion dresses you want to be able to explain all this to your customers in a professional way so be prepared and remember 
that the questions that they're going to have are questions that can be answered if you've done your research, right? Your questions are going to range from, well, why, why would my customers want to buy a fashion dress compared to a designer dress? Or how will I be able to sell that dress when no one recognizes the name that's on the label of that dress? So you want to be able to have answers. Your answer could range from the affordability factor to the fact that the dress is so beautiful that it doesn't need to have a brand recognition. And when you do sell your fashion dresses, make sure you research the market carefully to see how much are fashion dresses being sold for in the marketplace. How much are those dresses being sold for on the wholesale level? How much are they being sold on the retail level for? And make sure that the fashion dresses do match the styles that are currently in. You want to make sure that you have fashion dresses that are stylish and that are up to date. Because with brand name dresses, people might be okay to buy a dress that's from a previous season, especially if they love that brand name. But when it comes to fashion dresses, then remember, you're not selling based on the brand. So you're going to have to have dresses that people are going to want to buy based on the current fashions. All right. If you have any questions, please let me know. My website is closeatexplosion.com. Have a great day.